but this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-reigning champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. So here's the Russian bomber and recent interim UFC heavyweight title challenger, Sergei Pavlovich. This man walks into a fighter meeting and is as about intimidating as any athlete that we sit down with. Tremendous power in the hands. Tremendous speed with those hands as well. He works off an incredible jab, moves exceedingly well for a man his size. A lot of people, though, are going to try to challenge his ground game. Trained at AKA back in the day, of course, with UPC. Many people believe, though, when you're fighting Pavlovich, the path of least resistance is to get this absolute giant to the ground. All right, with that, the wait ends here. Both fighters have graced the octagon, and we are raring to go from a sold-out Etihad Arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander Drago Volta. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Sergey Pavlovich. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, ready to go with live action here from Eddie Hot Arena in Abu Dhabi. This has become a destination for fighters across the UFC and an opportunity for several of our best to showcase their skills here tonight. It's just everything about the environment here. I remember coming for Holloway versus Kane, the first event at Eddie Hot. Max Shed put on a masterpiece. This place has become a hot spot for this mission. Uh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Changing the position. What a strike from off of his back. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Pavlovich. Nice shot there by the chair. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, and everything's landing with so much power. Three minutes to go. Nice shot to the body there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, another good body shot. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. 
Nice body shot. Stuff to take down, no problem. Back to his feet. Oh, nice jab there by Volkov. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Volkov. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg. You press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. There it is, now he's going to mount. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Second it. round underway. And there's that jab. Beautiful job landing that head kick. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's so committed. To body now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Oh, nice takedown defense. All the separation the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take a picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Pavlovich. He's got to start throwing down. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Pavlovich. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Lands with the ground and pound. Another strike gets through from the top position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Just over two minutes to go in round two. <laughs> Massive shot from the top. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. A series of punches from the top here by Pavlovich. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. 30 seconds to go. Nice transition. Get on him. 
Seconds winding down in round two. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Pavlovich. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Round three of a possible five. think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Missed with that right hand. Nice. Nicely done. Massive knee lands from side flinch. And now some distance as they pull apart. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, big hook, that'll spin. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, crippling knee to the side. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. That's the shot. That he wins. Great job. Under trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Nice pass. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. <laughs> Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Volkov. Yes, smart adjustment, yup. Volkov's back in full mount. Ground and pound strike there now. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Mm, that was nice. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Now it's his moment. Ten seconds to go in the round. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championships. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. 
You gotta get back off of that stool. Oh, oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. In the half guard. Good work from the top here by Pavlovich. This is where he wants to be. Pavlovich, ground and pound from half guard now. Stay tight, stay tight. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Big right hook there by the champ. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Side control now. I need you to be Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Pavlovich is right back to the full mount here. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though. Oh! Stop. That'll do it! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. One final time to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.